100,000, 80,000, 400 a day, 300 a day. In today's video, I will tell you how much money you can make in construction in 2025 in UK. But you know what? Before that, I want to actually take you on site so you can have a look what you're going to be doing on construction. Okay, we're back here in my office and uh, I'm going to tell you today uh, where to find actually information about uh, how much money you can make as a pay or as a self-employed. I also tell you where to look for work and I'll show you a couple of websites. As always, I will leave uh, links in the description as well so you can jump into company's website and to look through their recruitment. And in this video, I will also show you where to upskill and where to learn actually prepare your CV for your interview and how to get ready for everything so you can actually land your job, especially if that's gonna be your first job. But anyway, let's jump and let's have a look. At the CV library, we're gonna see what we can make as a site engineers. I put a London here, but obviously wherever you work, you look for information there. As you can see, uh, there's a couple of opportunities. Like I mentioned, uh, the year look a little bit better, but uh, if it's gonna be your first job, it's still not that good as it was a couple of years ago. So be ready for fighting for work. But anyway, uh, you can see here site engineer 30 to 33k, so it's not the best really. Uh, we have here site engineer 350 to 400 a day, depending on the experience, DOE. And uh, yeah, that makes more sense. It's quite actually decent money here. We got another one, site engineer uh, RTL Group. This is agency and this is 270 to 300 a day long term work. So it's not that bad as you can see. And uh, we have a site engineer here 30 to 40k per annum, which is not really that good. But as you can see here, that's the difference here between the day rate and between uh, pay AYE. As you remember, pay AYE are more secure jobs. Really, once you land on the job, you're probably gonna be working for a long time. This uh, day rate jobs, they might be even for just a few months or a few weeks even, so you never know. But uh, obviously there is more money to make on the self-employed basis. There are different advantages when it comes to pay YE. But uh, here you go again, 30 to 45K per annum, Danny Sullivan, and uh, 300 to 400 a day. So that's for you to decide and looking for work. But uh, I just want to quickly show you as well the assistants. We got the trainee engineer here. Uh, I put assistant engineer, so you need to make sure it's actually about the construction here, but that's what we have. So we got 28 to 32K uh, for the assistant engineer. This is mechanical, electrical. The graduate engineer here, 29 to 35K. And this is actually pre-construction services. So uh, that makes more sense to go pay away, but you, you are still graduate, you're learning, but then you can make around 30K. So that's sometimes how it is. Uh, it's not gonna be huge money at the beginning, but as you can see, site engineers are now paid 300 to 400 even a day. So uh, it's really still good money, but uh, obviously the money is not growing that fast as inflation goes, but uh, that's for another video maybe. And I got a junior engineer here as well. Uh, you can see here a similar money to assistant engineer. Sometimes people just call the junior engineer, sometimes assistant engineer, and you can still find, sometimes they call it uh, still chain person. So that's what you're gonna be looking for when you're gonna be first applying for job. Junior engineer, assistant engineer, chain person. And obviously if you're in the game already, obviously you're gonna be looking for the site engineers role. So another part of this video gonna be where we're gonna be looking for work. And uh, obviously the CV library I just showed you gonna be one place. You can uh, create your CV there, upload it and uh, apply for the job straight away and contact people from there. But uh, here I got another one. I mentioned that before. This is a fixed construction website. I think still this is a future of recruitment and uh, that's the great place to look for work as well. As you can see here, I got site engineer, carpenter, fixer, traffic marshal popular roles and I'm going to go to site engineer so once obviously you're going to register to the website to the app uh, you're going to get all that information and you can apply so probably going to be information about the money there so you got some external jobs so some of these jobs are going to be obviously found on CV library as well they upload in here but uh, this is definitely the place to go uh, they still developing so that's going to be better and better especially if you look uh, for work around where you live uh, you're going to be getting a notification actually about the job so in terms of this it's much better and you can just go through your phone and have a look if you like the job or maybe apply and uh, obviously you 
can upload information about yourself as well here so you can upload your CCS card SMSDS if you have something or all qualifications and then uh, this is actually AI based they're going to be looking for work which suits you so it's, it's no point sometimes to waste time and the only thing is this is going to be better and better so that's that's the good thing about it so I would say yeah this definitely that's what we're going to be looking for work so civil library fixed construction and when we're talking about looking for work I want you to be really active on LinkedIn because that's the place where people are going to be looking at you they're going to be looking for information about you so even despite you're going to be sending that CV which I'll tell you in a minute how to prepare there is very important thing to be active there on social media and then on LinkedIn especially so uh, yeah just just jump here but you can obviously follow the companies uh, contact the recruiters here as well so I find it uh, as a really really important place for for us engineers and for everyone in construction really and that's the last part of this video we're gonna have a look how to actually find a job how to upskill a little bit and uh, what to do to land your first job if uh, you're looking for the first one so uh, I did actually video about it a little bit so you can have a look here click on it uh, have a look how to upskill for free and uh, just quickly show you now anyway uh, I opened the engineering academy this is just starting now but you got all the foundation here the basic information for the beginners to start looking for work and obviously in terms of setting out inside the engineering I give you the basis as well so you're gonna be ready to start your work that's uh, where it is it's uh, nearly 1000 students now so probably when you watch this video it's probably 1000 already so it's going really good uh, this is on Udemy this is for free now for beginners so we can start your career so that will be the very first place uh, to look for the information to learn about the uh, construction and how to start and actually the very first course here is how to start the career in construction industry there I cover a little bit uh, about the interview about the CV uh, about the visas as well and uh, how to get the job and uh, I actually show with civil library and pitch as well but uh, really recommend you to go there and uh, get that first information another place uh, definitely worth to see is a like a my world but uh, that might be a little bit for uh, more advanced people who got actually access to the like equipment as for getting the access for these courses you need actually to register your equipment so if you're working on site actually if you got some controller or total station obviously you can put a serial number there and you're gonna get access a lot of great courses here uh, I was really surprised myself when I saw it first time and I'm uh, here from time to time myself so I think that will be all in this video now you know how much money you can make as a site engineer how much money you can make as a junior engineer and uh, where we're going to be looking for work and how to prepare for landing your first job prepare your CV prepare for the interview and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if not yet there are going to be more and more and we're going to be actually learning more and going deeper and deeper into site engineering so stay tuned